Kling. We begin tonight with the rise in COVID-19 cases in kids, and it's leading to more hospitalizations around the country and more students quarantined here in Northeast Ohio. Tonight, the Ohio Department of Health reports more than 1,500 new COVID cases in kids under 18 in the past 24 hours. That goes along with the overall 7,000 new cases in the state. That included a backlog of tests. And tonight at Wadsworth City Schools, more than 500 students and staff members are currently quarantined due to COVID exposure. Now, the district going to be requiring masks to help curb the spread. And with more kids in schools being sent home, there are lots of questions. One, could parents sue districts for liability? Marissa Sines looked into that. The number of COVID-19 cases amongst kids is on a steady rise, according to the Department of Health. In a matter of one week, cases amongst kids younger than 17 rose from 24% of the total case count to 29%. Masks have been shown again and again and again and again and again to reduce the spread of COVID. I'm so tired of people coming after the science. More cases being announced among schools too. Just today, more than 500 students are in quarantine after 77 cases were confirmed in Wadsworth. If you're not vaccinated, go get vaccinated. It's the best thing that you can do to protect those that can't get vaccinated. While doctors continue to urge people to get the COVID-19 vaccine, districts I reached out to across Northeast Ohio told me there's no mandate for the vaccine amongst faculty and staff. It's everyone's own right as far as if they're going to be vaccinated or unvaccinated. But there's questions about liability in schools. Can parents sue a teacher who is unvaccinated who could have infected their child with COVID-19? The answer to that is it depends on where you are. Tara Coleman is a civil attorney. She says here in Ohio, you can't sue a teacher for negligence, at least not until October. Our governor, Mike DeWine, signed into law a temporary law that limits the liability for civil claims based on exposure to COVID-19. House Bill 606 gives schools legal immunity from coronavirus lawsuits. Next month, we may very well see some civil claims popping up and people testing this out in Ohio. I think we're gonna see some causation issues come up if we start seeing these cases. Russ Coleman says plaintiffs being able to actually prove it was a teacher will be difficult and it will ultimately be up to the courts. She says there is longstanding case law here in Ohio that has found negligence amongst, amongst other contagious diseases. Marissa, let me ask you this. Is this all on the teacher or could districts be held liable as well? Coleman says oftentimes plaintiffs will name everyone in the chain to prove liability, which could include districts. Again, the districts are protected under House Bill 606 until the end of the summer. Russ. Okay, Marissa Sines in the newsroom. Thank you.